Yeah, this place is, uh... be not bad. See, this is one of the things I like about this game. Is even though there is flaws, uh, there's just something so charming about the, the art in these places. This this doesn't feel like the other, you know, taverns we've seen in the games. And as long as they're showing me something new or just something that says, well, wow, that's kind of cool, and I have a good time, I, I try to appreciate games for what they are. And I thought this was, uh, I think Kirkwall was a cool city. I like the story behind it. It's not, not perfect, but... You know, I like this. I really like this this place. I like this. What am I talking about? Am I drunk? No, I'm not. Let's play the game. So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Well, unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. I want to fight more putties. I received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Um. Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And fight worms. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking, but if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. Okay. Um. Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Lorene has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts. See if I can drum up any other work. You know, ever notice that in Dragon Age, the uh, dwarves, they aren't Scotsmen? You know, coming from a Scottish background myself, I know that's heresy. I mean, y you're making dwarves, not burly little mountaineer Scotsmen? But you know what? I actually think that's clever. I like when fantasy games subvert tropes and... Uh, do things a bit differently, like how the elves and Elder Scrolls are kind of ugly. Ugly elves? What? I'm robbing people. I'm robbing them blind. Hold on, can I equip that maul? I can't? Oh, I need to, oh, I need to level up my strength more, so I'll keep that in mind next time I level up. History of Kirkwall. Blah, 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 blah. They came over from this country, then founded the first blah, 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 blah. Alienated the people who lived in here before. Blah, 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 blah. Put them on reservations. Blah, blah. What's with these weird squatting guys in gimp masks taking a dump? <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. The Maleficarum. Isn't the Maleficarum like in Dragon Age, like the Necronomicon, the evil generic book of evil, evil-tude? I summon the spirit of the dark pigeon to enslave humanity in a global earth wrapping cocoon of white poop you know I live in British Columbia this place isn't that different from downtown east side Vancouver I shouldn't say that but yeah not a very happy place I'm sure there's some happy people. I mean, you can't speak for everyone. Anyways, I think I've seen everything I've wanted to see here. I've Wait. never met a dwarf before. That's because you've spent too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. Why do dwarves and Daisy elves always hate frolicking? each other? That's one thing they should Nothing subvert. Works, anyway. They need do to be more chummy. Frolicking areas? No, just not in the woods. 
the trees get jealous. But you do frolic. Of course we do. We wouldn't be elves otherwise. <laughs> still some woody bander. Hero of Ferelden. Mm. That's well, one thing I can still trust Bioware games to always deliver is good banter. You heard about that deep roads expedition. They say anyone who goes down there is good for rich. You don't think you'll need drinks served down there, do you? I don't think they serve drinks down in a freaking mining network. Like, if you're going to be drinking, you probably, uh... Okay, there's Night, Dark Town, Birthright, Hanged Man, Wayward Son, Gamlin's House. Hold on. Where's my log? Shalland. Darkness Falls. Okay, Black Powder Promise, Rumors... Act of Mercy, Deep Roads, Wayward. Tranquility, seek out the Grey Warden, Wayward Son. Speak to Samson about Fane, Fane Riel. Samson is usually loitering in the reaches of Lowtown at night. Okay, let's go talk to Samson. Cut his hair. Uh oh, then he's gonna be in trouble. That's one thing I also like about this game is the whole day-night mechanic, how you can choose what time of the day to go to places and different things will be going on. Sort of reminds me of Majora's Mask, another game where you're spending a good chunk of your time screwing around the city. Always calling and getting rid of idiots. Especially thugs who talk. Look at the streets just because it's dark. Aw oh, man, your sewer has a problem with gas. So either fix your sewer system or uh, start giving the people Beano. Uh, old Vincento said someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. You look very tired. I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. Uh, retired. Sounds better than burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in the choke dab. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who've got the dust. The dust? Do I need to Google search that? I've never heard that term, that expression used. The dust? Oh. Lyrium. You're gonna explain it to me. Mine. Magic in its raw form. I thought dust meant you cojones need to or something. Stuff to face down the magic is. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, it just about kills you. Oh, I see. So it's drugs. It's always about drugs. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. I have a wire. Barely left their mother's skirts. I'm reporting now, you to the police. We're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Yeah, I'd run too if demons were after me. Except I'm uh, not a very good runner, so I'd probably lose. Just looking at you, I'd say you're a man who helps anyone for the right price. What kind of price? <laughs> Your life. How's this? Right. The lad came to me, not a silver in his pockets. Told him there's nothing I can do for him. You abandoned him? I appointed him to a ship captain I know, Rayner. Sometimes he'll take Jim on Rainer? runaways. From Starcraft? Took another apostate last week. Girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong, though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. Oh, snap. So your good friend's a kidnapper? Can't say I'm surprised. Not a friend. Just someone who's not afraid to try this business. Rumor has it, Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. Uh-oh. I lost 50 silver. I feel terrible. So wait a minute, if uh, I didn't have that money, would my only option be to kill that man? Like, would it... There's no cancel out option. So it's kill them or not do anything. Maybe there'd be a new mo option saying I'll get some money. Oh, I'm killing more Iron Mans. Oh, 
I'm done. Thank you, Health Potion. I love you, Health Potion. Never leave my side. Music in this game is pretty good. I can't Bad fault it for that. Night. It would be good to get rid of them. Really bad people come out at night in a place where everyone's like uh, strung out in drugs, extremely poor. It's like it's a really bad neighborhood. Of course, bad people are gonna come out at night. Heck, even in good neighborhoods, there's always some creepy guy standing on the street waiting for another weirdo to deliver something in a brown paper bag. Uh, let me see. Docks. Okay, so. The Docks. Never got how one of the seven dwarves was named Doc. The streets aren't safe at night. We should do something about that. Yes, violence. Kill the people who are causing trouble. I mean, who else will? Oh no, stop killing guys in Iron Man masks. I love him. Booyakasha. Come on, do your slam thingy. Ooh, goodies. Bottle of rot gut. Can't say I've had that drink before. Is it like a cocktail? For a shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark, but good reward in getting rid of them. Hmm. L let me think. What would be in a rot gut? Um, drain cleaner. Uh, petroleum from dead wombats from a million years ago. Fermented uh, potato skins and lots of laxatives. There's a rod gut for you. <laughs> 